Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. Doing card of the day. This is for 223. And I had to think about what the numerology was for today for a little bit because uh, I wasn't getting like the lower number cards. So we have 23. Two and three is five. And then the month is two. And I, in, when I was thinking about it, it was like, no, it needs to be multiplied. But for some reason in my head, it was like, the goal has to be 10. And I'm like, okay, how am I supposed to get 10 from that? So it's two and three is five. And then times two, the month is 10. So the energy for today is actually giving me the wheel. Although my head just told me the chariot, because if I add them together, it's seven. But so there's, there's this sort of, um, flashing in and out between the wheel and the chariot. It's kind of like the chariot only has one wheel on it right now. Like the, the horse threw a shoe. I'm using the dreams of Gaia Tarot. So let's, let's get a card. Hopefully just one and not multiples. Like it's been for a little bit. Unamash. Waiting for one to come out. <sighs> Got a pair in the challenge position. Chucked out of there sideways. So I have the Ace of Cups. Dragon Oceanus. In the challenge position. It looks like a Rorschach test sideways. And then I have the 10, there's the 10, the 10 of wands. Normally this card is like, it's too much. It's too heavy, but here it's like, we're working on the chakras. And because we have this water here, it's probably the heart chakra, but what I'm getting is that it's, there's a, like a clog between in this drain between the throat and the heart chakra, right? It's like, I've got a lump in my throat. Like this is hard to swallow. I'm choking on it. And then notice that I have a one and I have a 10 here, which is 11 universal timing. What's the energy of the 10? Is it the sun? No. Saturn and Sagittarius. I was thinking the sun in Gemini, but that's the 10 of swords. Saturn and Sagittarius. Okay, so we're dealing with the Aquarian energy, Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius. It's like the, the collective consciousness is sort of being pulled to review their emotional content. And it's like, mm, like, no, because once it's out, you can't put it back in the cats out of the bag. The bottom of the deck. This is the 11. This is essentially the page of wands in this deck. No, so I had 11 and now I have 11 again. So it's hard to see because my webcam is craptacular. It says masculine and feminine and it's inverted. Or perhaps also in the challenge position since I insist on holding it this way. There's an emotional imbalance because the masculine energy and the feminine energy is in balance. But we see that because we've been in a patriarchy, but it could also be on an individual level. But because of that Aquarian energy, it's telling me we 
we're dealing with this collective consciousness. The shift into the age of Aquarius is more of a balance between masculine and feminine energy. And there's a lot of fire here too. But the water is the ace. There's this idea that there's some tempering being done. Right? It's like we don't only want masculine fire, we want feminine fire, which is tends to be like more fluid. Right? It's like more like lava than an atomic fireball. And that's kind of a weird analogy, but it, it's like there has to be grounding. There has to be emotional grounding. And in order to release the, the clog in the drain, the energies have to be balanced, right? If one energy says, like, I'm taking up this whole space, it kind of is like a cancer and it just goes like, like a, like a sham while stuck in the drain, like it puffs up or whatever. Um, but if there's a balanced energy, then there's going to be enough space between the configuration because there'll, there'll be like a toroidal energy and it'll suck the energy through the, like the portal, the singularity in the middle. If that makes, that's probably like scientifically bullshit, but it, energetically it makes sense. All right. So, um, there's some weird noises outside. Um, If you want to get a personal reading, you can hit me up. The cat came back at camp at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to help donate to help this channel, PayPal cash app Venmo. It's like energy exchange tip jar. And if you want stuff, I've got merch and prints and actual art items for sale. I've got coloring books, dark poetry, and some other stuff hanging around. I'm working on some card decks. It's going to take me a while because I have to draw them. Um, and everything here is through the link tree. If you go through the link tree URL, you should get that coupon code for Etsy. It's 17% off three or more items purchased. Um, oh, and then the list of readings is below here. But if you want to see samples of the readings, I have a playlist just for that. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, check out my playlists tab, my discussion tab, and stay groovy. And we'll see you later. Bye.